Hey, what's up fellow YouTubers? It's me, Elric Ferris, your host back here on the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel to bring you guys a look at something that's actually really cool. Now, not many people out there are probably going to buy this, and this isn't a review sample either. I'll just say it straight off the bat, so if any of the reviewers are out there, it's how the hell this guy get his hands on this thing. Nope, I didn't get his review sample. Actually, my friend Jerry works at Biostar. I was like cruising, walking through his office. I looked over to his desk and he had this really cool thing sitting on there. So I was just like, what is that thing? And he's all, what's the X-Frame from Inwin? We bought it to use in a road show. So I was like, come on, bitch, lend me that thing because I want to take it home and show people it. So he was like, whatever, bitch, then take it. And so like, I went, all right, whatever, bitch. And I took it and now I'm bringing it to you guys. So without anything else, let's jump in. Let's check out what this new X-Frame is. <laughs> What the new X-Frame is, is it something that you can actually build your computer on so that you can show all the parts out in the public? You can use it in your home, taking it on the road show, or anything like that. This is something that you can use to show off your system. That's what it is. If you want to spend the 400 bucks on it, that's on you. Let's just jump in and take a first look at this new X-Frame from the people over at Inwin. All right, folks, so this is basically how the box comes. Then inside of it, there's another box. This isn't really a totally true unboxing because the people at Biostar took it out, but it's still pretty cool. So anyways, I'll take this thing, flip it around on the table, do the box inception thing, pull the box out, hopefully not to hit anything. Oh, doesn't make sweet sound. out. All right, the cameraman, here's the box. He'll do some action. Action! I actually even hit the microphone stand, so ignore that little boop on the camera. Maybe we can edit it out. Anyways, all right, so here's the box. And we can see right off the bat, it's got X-Frame! Not to be confused with X-Men, copyright infringement there. No, this is not used by anybody, not even Magneto. It's the X-Frame. So, inside the box, we have stuff in the box. Starting off, we've got some Velcro stuff here to like make it not slide around. Some screws, HDD drive screws. Buy all the screws to keep your stuff in. For now, I'll toss this off to the side. Oh, nice little sound there. Love those sound effects. Then once again, I'll do the flippy box thing. Actually, all right. Let's take a look real quick here, folks, about what this thing is. It says specifications. Case size, open frame chassis. Material, two to four millimeter aluminum metal plate. Drive bays in the front, 5.25 by two, 3.5 by three. Drive bays on the side, 3.5 by three. Motherboard form factor, E-ATX, 12 inch to 13 inch, ATX, micro ATX. So it won't support the giant size motherboards. Power supplies is ATX, 12 volts PS2. Front port, USB 3.0 by two, USB 2.0 by two, HD audio. The IO expansion slots, PCIe, PCI, AGP, slot times eight. So I guess that means you're gonna be able to put up to eight video cards or eight things in the slots on the board when it's built, that is. The dimensions, height, width, depth, 329 by 518 by 408 millimeters or 13 inches by 20.4 inches by 16.1 inches. So that's basically what the thing is. I'll just have the camera and focus in on the box and get a nice clean shot of that so you guys can see it. So now that you see what the side of the box says, let's actually see what's in the box. I'll turn it around one more time, take it, remove it from its package. Once again, turn the upside down lovely thing. Take it down. Get it out. Once again, take the box. Up we go. Yay, how we love all this stuff. All right, here we go. Let's start taking it off. Got one little foam side panel here. Take that one off. Take the foam side panel. Off we go. Side panel number two. Well, off we go. We're almost there. Getting closer, closer. Now we've got a nice big plastic bag, so if Santa wanted to throw this shit over his back and deliver it down, you know, down the chimney, I guess he could do that. All right, folks, so after a little bit of camera repositioning, you can see we've got the X-Frame out here on the table. You can see all the front connections are right up here. You've got your hard drive LED light, USB 2.0, USB 3.0. You've got your headphones and your speaker. On and off button. Motherboard trays here on top. I'm not gonna go ahead and disassemble in this video, I'll save it for another one, but I will say that Rodney Reynolds from 3D Game Man would be very happy because it does have a removable 3D motherboard tray. Yeah! Big winner, kick ass on that, right on. 
So that's pretty cool. Now, these aluminum side frames right here that make it the X frame, these are also removable as well. It's hard to see. I'll try to take some other shots in that and zoom them in. Down here, you can see we have all our components. These are all the different things you're gonna to use to put on when you put your motherboard on here, all your risers and all that type of stuff. Your drive bays are down here. They have locking slots for these. You can put your SSDs right there. Begin your nice little test station. I'm gonna go ahead and just flip the thing around to the side a little bit. Right here is the removable motherboard tray things. You pop these things off, and as you can see, the motherboard tray comes off. I'm not gonna go ahead and just totally remove it. It's really no big deal, but it does come off. Also, these screws right here on the side, you can see these, that makes this removable as well. So you can take these completely off if you want to, and you'd be okay. Um, also, they say that you can't use a really long motherboard. I don't know, with these off, and with some modifications to this, I think you should probably be able to use any motherboard you want. The further testing I do, I guess we'll see that. Flip around the back real quick, and you guys can see. Here's all the slots for all your expansion cards. Good stuff there. Flip it around the side again. Here's where your other drive bays go for your standard hard drive and stuff like that. Once again, here's the other slot to the removable motherboard tray. A couple little quick pins and then boom, the whole thing comes off. Flip it around again one time, folks. Show you guys the front. But that's basically it. This is basically a really a just very, very expensive test station. Other people sell these things for around $100. Like I said before, this N1 X frame is coming in at $400. They're not giving these away as test samples. I actually, like I said before in the video, if you didn't see the beginning of it for some reason, I actually went and just got this from my friend Jerry and borrowed it to do this unboxing. So there you guys have it. It's expensive, it's elegant, it's the N1 X frame. I'm Eric Ferris, your host. See you back here on Tech of Tomorrow.